we're gonna be making banana bread. One day I woke up to brown bananas and I realized um, I should probably make banana bread. I'm gonna be a bit cheeky and add chocolate chips. This isn't gonna be like a how-to tutorial video because I am in no position to be given anyone baking advice. I don't bake. I've just about learned how to cook. I'm using this tutorial, seems pretty simple. So let's hope it goes well. I'll leave a link to the recipe tutorial thing that I'm using in the description box below. So for anyone who wants to know how to make banana bread, go check out that video after you watch this one. This is like a how not to, and then go watch the how to, basically. Or who knows, maybe it might turn out good. You know, let's not be too negative. You know what's really wild though? I naturally had all the ingredients anyway, which is weird because they're kind of specific ingredients. Like, I still don't know why I have brown sugar. I can't remember why I would have bought that. That's not a very me thing to buy. And I have bicarbonate soda. I'm hoping that's the same thing as baking soda. And I have flour. Apparently, it's really hard to get flour at the moment. Yeah, I also have flour in my kitchen. Wild. It's almost like this is fate. Okay, let's make a banana bread. I don't have a the loaf tin i think they're called i don't have that but i do have a cake tin and technically this might be controversial but i think banana bread is more of a banana cake than a bread <gasps> so this is fine <laughs> first thing we're gonna do is heat the oven in the video she said 350 degrees my oven only goes up to 250 degrees so we're already off to a great start my oven has failed me bacon tin sorted flour and salt and <gasps> i don't have a whisk uh, i also don't have reliable arms i have pretty much everything but i don't have a whisk so this uh arm action it's really gonna test me today. Welcome to Taz's Baking Show. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, was it two cups? Two cups of flour. That's one tablespoon of, that's too much. I think that's too much. Teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon of baking soda. So just a quarter. Salt, three quarters. Is it meant to be like this? What's weird is during quarantine, I've spoken to people less than I would have normally. And I don't really know why. I don't know if that's a me thing or if that's what people are generally like. During lockdown, have you found yourself talking more to people or talking less? Also let me know, in lockdown, are you living with people or are you doing it by yourself? This lockdown has made me realize that I am very much an introvert. Well, okay, let's talk about this because the whole introvert extrovert thing is kind of like, I feel like it's not black and white, at least not in my head. Um, I think I am, Generally speaking, I am an introvert. I like being by myself. I like my, like this whole lockdown period has just proven that I am like having my own space and I'm very comfortable just being by myself and just like I like my own company. Why is this so hard? But I also think I can be an extrovert. If I'm around people who know me and I'm comfortable around, then I am the biggest, loudest person ever and I don't shut up and I'm probably hella annoying. I feel like how I am depends on the environment and the surrounding. So I don't think I'm just like a massive introvert or a massive extrovert. I think it just depends on the environment. When I was traveling last year, I met a lot of people whilst I was traveling and I, generally speaking, I felt like I was quite extroverted. I got on with people that I didn't even know and became really close with them. Um, and I think a reason for that is because the people that I was meeting abroad were people who I knew through my channel. So they kind of already knew me because they watched my videos. So I think I'm not necessarily an extrovert and I'm not completely an introvert, but I'm just like, if you give me good vibes, I will give that back. And I feel like I'm quite good at adapting to the situation. So if I'm in an environment like the lockdown where I'm by myself all the time, then yeah, I'm perfectly happy to just be by myself, do things by myself. And I'm generally really happy to do that. Like I haven't had any, like I don't think I'm someone who feels lonely. If anything, I've just got really used to being by myself. Ah, this is never gonna work. I'm just gonna put it in here. Who needs measurements anyway? It's fine. We need half a cup of butter. Whoa, that's a lot of butter, you know? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to whisk, but I don't have a whisk. Also, it's really hot in here. Ah, oh, ooh. Oh, I just got butter on me. Does anyone else feel that? Okay, I don't know if it's meant to look like this. Okay, so this is what my mixture looks like. Smells like brown sugar. And add those to the mixture. 
No eggshells, no eggshells. No eggshells, yeah baby. That like never happens. How much of a difference does whiskey make? Because if it's a big difference then I think I'm screwed. Because this spatula ain't doing much, hun. I'm not gonna lie to you. My whisking, my arm muscles are not that great. And this spatula movement ain't doing this cake justice. Bread justice, sorry. Technically this is bread. Okay, this is not going well. This looks like, I mean, what do you think that looks like? Ah! It's not doing anything! Do, 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 do. Oh, that looks really not good. <laughs> this does not look appetizing whatsoever. Ah, oh, well, what are you gonna do? I tried. Ew, I'm pretty sure this is moulding. Okay, this one is moulding. I am pretty... Oh, we can't touch that one. This is my mashed up bananas. So we're just gonna put all our banana mixture in. I'm also gonna put some chocolate chips in. Okay, now we have the flour mixture. We're not gonna overwork the flour, so we're just gonna mix to moisture, whatever that means. Oh no, I feel like I have too much flour. This is not how her one looks. It's supposed to have like a lot of moisture to it, but I feel like mine looks really dry. <sighs> I don't know if this is like a tough arm workout or if I'm just really weak. I got this far in the banana bread process without injuring myself, so I will call that a success. At this point, I don't really care what it tastes like, as long as it's done. Hmm, doesn't smell too banana-y. Time to put this in the oven. How long do I put it in the oven for? Place the filled pan in a preheated oven for 60 to 65 minutes. It takes an hour. This takes an hour to bake. I don't know why, I thought this was like a 10 minute job. Okay, there you go, my little baby. I guess I'll be seeing you guys in 60 to 65 minutes. Bake. So mine. It's all kicking off in the neighborhood, I tell you. I haven't checked up on my car or turned it on in like a good few weeks. I don't, I don't even know if it's even gonna start on anymore at this point. I should probably go and check. Um, I will do that at some, at some point. Oh, there's a lady walking down the streets in heels. Good for her. You know what, good for her, good for her. These might be trying times, but that doesn't mean you can't make effort every now and again. I mean, I personally haven't, but good on anyone who has. To anyone who still like gets up in the morning and makes like a lot of effort in their appearance and like obviously I know you do it for yourself and that goes without saying but you know good on you for doing that because I just uh, like I didn't do that anyway but like I definitely wouldn't do that now. I already know you're gonna call me out on this. I made a mistake so I was following an American tutorial and they said 350 degrees but they meant degrees Fahrenheit not Celsius so I already made a mistake because it was meant to be a hundred, apparently 350 Fahrenheit is 180 degrees, but I only figured that out after I put it in the oven. But um, I think it still turned out okay. We all knew something was going to go wrong. It would have been a miracle if I managed to do everything without anything going wrong. It's a little crusty, but I wouldn't call it bit. So that's what it looks like on the outside. Yeah, it, it doesn't look the best. Oh, that is really banana-y. Is this a bad time to say I'm not really that big on bananas? Oh, it does feel like a loaf of bread, actually. Do, 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 do. Ooh. That actually doesn't look that bad. You know what? I think that's all right. I think I'm quite chuffed with that. I think it turned out okay. And that's banana bread sorted. I realise that there's something going wrong with my voice. Should we do the taste test? I'm trying to figure out if I like the taste or not. I actually like the burnt outside. It's meant to be like really soft and I've overcooked it so it's not. Um, it doesn't taste bad. I'm actually really glad I put the chocolate chips in. I think next time if I am to make this again, I wouldn't put as much banana in it. Like it's nice, like I feel like like it's nice, I will eat it, but I don't think I have too much in one go because it's like it'll become sickly sweet. But I don't think that's a this problem, I think that's just a me problem. Like I'm not a very banana cake kind of person. But I liked it. Chocolate chips was definitely a good shout. I know that's not how banana bread is supposed to be. But I like it. Despite all the mistakes and maybe wrong measurements, 
It turned out right. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!